Deputy Speaker of Parliament had to adjourn the House for 20 minutes this afternoon. He had instructed Chadolo East MP Ibrahim Semuju to leave the House, but the legislator later did not budge. The House had expected an apology from Semuju upon his return from suspension over misconduct. Well. That apology was not forthcoming. Instructed and communicated both in writing and foreign and answered. Donor member declined to do so. I hereby order the subject account to get the honorable member out of the chambers. Does not respect the mandate of the people on whose mandate we are here as members of parliament. Members of the opposition later convened a press briefing condemning the deputy speaker's action. He did invite in actually security officers who were strangers to the house, and one of the, yes, one of them was the bodyguard of the Mr. Sekandi, the the the, 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 the vice president. I mean, when Oranya was there, so I came to continue with my parliamentary work. And I was surprised that today maybe the anger was more than it had multiplied. That he even broke all the rules of parliament and said Semuju must violently be evicted from parliament. They say the deputy speaker Jacob Olanya is biased while carrying out parliamentary sessions. This is not the first time that lawmakers, especially from the opposition, have come out to criticize the character of Jacob Olanya, the deputy speaker of parliament. But he has ashamed us people of northern Uganda. We have never had any speaker like this. But now to go to the extent of applying the brutal force on a colleague member of parliament, I think that is going far beyond. This afternoon's events prompted the opposition lawmakers to think of reviving the debate on the conduct of the deputy speaker of parliament. Actually, if it continue to be a deputy speaker, then he must conduct business in the normal way. We are saying we are not going to allow him to use brutal force because the decorum, the basic decorum of parliament is peace. That's the basic decorum of parliament. The MP Semuju Nganda, Theodore Sechkubo and Odongoto were suspended when chaos erupted in parliament as MPs fought to block passage of the public order management bill that regulates public rallies and meetings. They were suspended for three sittings. Maurice Ochoa, NTV at parliament.